Welcome back to Access Carolina. Wearing aprons now because there's a growing interest in home bread baking as people look for healthier ways to feed their families. And if you want to learn how to bake bread with freshly milled whole grains, there's an expert in town you want to meet. This is Liz Rossner from Bluebird Homestead. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Um, I reached out to you because I know you teach a daily bread class. You've always loved gifting loaves, loaves of bread to your friends and, and family and neighbors. And when you moved here uh, in 2021, one of those neighbors said, you ought to be doing this at a, at a farmer's market, right? That's correct. Yeah, we kept giving them bread and they kept saying, you really could sell this. You really should sell this. And they suggested the market and we've uh, been there two seasons and about to start our third. And, and you came into this from a lightly different career. Yes, I was in nuclear cardiology for 14 years and I loved it there, but I really learned the love of the heart and whole grains and wanted to teach people more about the, the whole grains. What is it before we dive in? Just for, for our overall well-being, when we're baking, when we're working with grains, what happens? So our bodies receive extreme nutrition from the grain. There are really uh, dense nutrition um, in the grain. It's actually one of the most nutritionally complete foods that we have. And when you eat it in its whole form, it really serves your body. It can, it can cure a lot of things and be very healing. All right. So as you've been out, you know, you're such a believer in this. You're so passionate about it. People start asking, can you teach me? Do you have baking classes? <laughs> and so, okay. So over at Bluebird Homestead, you now have a way to teach people how to mill grain and bake bread. And it's a four-hour class, obviously. A lot goes into it. But, but right here, you can kind of walk us through a little bit of, of the demonstration. So I'll yeah. take it away. What do we do? So earlier today, I put together a dough that was water and grain, mm -hmm. just a couple different flours, salt, yeast, and oil and honey. So now we've got our nice little dough balls here. So we're going to oil up your hands and we'll oil up the surface just a little bit. And then we're going to just start working the dough. All right. So you can we'll take move this that up one. here so the camera sees it better. And every kneader has to find their own rhythm. So I like to push in my, my palm, pull it back to me. All right. We'll put the locks push on the table in. next time we <laughs> knead the bread. All right. Yes. Kneading push is out. a lot of action. It's, it's good. It grows your muscles. <laughs> Yeah, I, I bet the arm strength that you get throughout the day. So I'm, yes. as I get big enough to roll it back, mm -hmm. what, what's achieved here as we do this? It feels like it's pretty well combined, but with every roll, what happens? Yeah, so we're actually developing the gluten here. So we're strengthening oh. our gluten bonds. We're trying to um, create structure in our bread so that when it starts to rise, the gas Hit bubbles in the yeast mm -hmm. will be able to hold the structure of the bread up and give you a good fluffy bread. All right, and, and this is a process that you learned how. How did you get to be so good at this? So I found a really great friend in Ohio who was doing this, and she agreed to share all of her skills with me. I'm going to grab the roller here. Excellent. And she taught me how to bake bread. So she was my mentor for a lot of years, and um, she continues to teach me things that she learns, and we experiment with each other and just have a lot of fun with it. Yeah, you have fun teaching this. Talk to us about this. How is it different from the flour that we're buying at our grocery store? Because a lot of people, you know, like this process, but what's the difference? So the difference is that the flour at the grocery store, unfortunately, has to be processed in order for it to be safe to transport and sit on a shelf. And so the best parts of the grain are actually removed. And the healthiest parts, the grain, or sorry, the germ, the germ oil, and the bran, are really what serve our body. What's left, and once you get a good thing there, you can start rolling it up and we'll put it in a pan. Roll it up, put it What's in a pan. What's left in the store-bought grain is actually just the starch and the protein. And so our bodies don't have the main ingredients needed in the grain to properly digest and use it and to get all that good nutrition. So the, the flour from the store is it's kind of old okay. and it just doesn't have Makes the sense. nutrition in there. So now we're going to put this in the pan and we bake it and it comes out yep. looking like these. Exactly, um, yes. At Bluebird Homestead where you live, um, tell us about this place. There are chickens and ducks and goats and rabbits and there's also a little boutique yes. shop for baking gear and milling gear and, yep. and grains and that's where you teach your classes. That's right. So we have a little homestead there. We have just some animals that my kids are raising and uh, that we're kind of just having fun yeah. with out in the country. But we do have a little shop there that features all the, the items that you need to bake with. So the mills and the mixers and the grains. And most of go. all, we teach the classes and I am a mentor to every student. And so I just want to help everybody on their bread journey get started and keep going. Well, I love this and you call it a bread journey because this isn't something where they show up, learn it all in a day and go on. You develop your skills, you develop this, this art of baking bread. Yes, it absolutely is a journey and everybody has to be on their own path and do their own way in their own kitchen. 
But that's what's so neat is every family can get started and see how it works for them and just keep learning. Very cool. Um, well, thanks for sharing a little bit. I, I know we, we could talk to you much longer, so I appreciate all this. Liz, thank you very much. I want to put your info on screen at Bluebird Homestead. You're able to accommodate the private class requests at the Homestead and Fountain Inn. People can email you. They can get on your emailing list. They can follow you on social media to learn more, too. We'll have that information and this segment on accesscarolina.com.